What's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nikolai Espresso and welcome back to another video here today on the channel. In this one, we're going to be taking a look at the second of two weapons that dropped here today within Infinite Warfare, both being free for Season Pass holders, but with challenges attached to them. So if you guys are not Season Pass holders, it's completely okay, they're still free, they just might take a little bit of time to unlock. But in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the Trencher. This one is absolutely beautiful. Honestly, this might be my new favorite weapon in Infinite Warfare and possibly the most powerful weapon now within Infinite Warfare. It is surrounded with just so many awesome properties, so many awesome things with it. And it's one that if you guys have the chance, definitely jump on and try it out for yourselves because it's a ton of fun to play around with. And it definitely is something that can pack a punch whenever you go in and actually play with it. So firstly, to me, it looks like a cross between the Sten as well as the Type 100 from World of War. And overall, I just love the look of it. And as for that, it kind of then leads into the mobility. It's a very lightweight SMG and something that you still have a ton of mobility in game with. And therefore, you can get around very quickly. It doesn't really hinder anything of your gameplay style but the thing packs a punch, like I said. Killing in roughly three to four shots from what I've seen on experience. There's no specific data out there that's been, say, data mined or anything that we can give you the exact numbers, but it kills rather quickly once again for an SMG. A lot of this is closer quarter encounters, so keep that in mind, but even at range, it still can give you some good shots here with this. As for the default weapon, once again, the base weapon, it's still awesome. The reload time isn't the fastest, but it's still very manageable. The ADS time with it is still, once again, rather manageable for a base weapon, but as soon as you pop on a quick draw and say foregrip, this thing becomes a beast. And once again, that's the base attachments here with this. You start adding even more in, it just becomes even more of a powerhouse and something that is very usable in almost every single situation. So I absolutely love this thing. Once again, it is probably once again, my favorite SMG now within Infinite Warfare, possibly my favorite weapon overall in Infinite Warfare. And maybe I'd even venture as far to say as the most powerful at the time right now. It's just so versatile. It is a ton of fun to use. And therefore, it just is something that I think you guys should totally hop on and try this out for yourselves. Once again, it's free to season pass holders and available via challenges, I believe. It might even be free. Once again, I don't have the challenges in front of me because I got them for free via season pass, but it might even be free. I'm not entirely sure on that one without a season pass. So whatever it is, maybe hop on and check it out for yourselves. It's a ton of fun. But with that, I'll leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay here with this one. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. Leave your thoughts down there in the comment section down below of this that you've seen so far. What are your thoughts here on this? And of course, if if you guys did like the video, make sure you drop a like down below. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys subscribe to stay up to date with everything we have here regarding Call of Duty. And if you guys want to follow me over on Twitter, that is the best place to get connected with me here outside of YouTube. I practically live on Twitter. So if you guys want to strike up a conversation, ask me a question, whatever it may be, link is down there in the description below. But I'll see you guys later. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. My name is Nicolai Espresso. Take care and peace.